begin by sitting up on one or two folded blankets in the middle of your mat in cross-legged position. Take your hands to your knees. Inhale deeply. And as you do, lift the bottom ribs. Lift the front of the chest. Take the shoulders and elbows back. We're going to take a minute to sit tall and focus on our breath. Each time you inhale, try to lengthen the spine more and create more lift. Keep the bottom ribs lifting. And you can use the upper middle part of your shoulder blades along, the, uh, along your upper back. Take the middle of the shoulder blades in and up to create even more of a lift in the front of the chest. Relax the face, bring the palms together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and retain the lift. Take a few deep, even breaths. Keep the forehead soft. Relax the eyes. Calm the mind by focusing on your breath. Try to breathe in and out through the nose. Okay, one more breath. And then as you exhale, you can lower your palms and slowly open your eyes. Okay, and then the first pose we're gonna do, we're gonna do Virasana, Hero's Pose. We're gonna do Bottom Valiasana and Virasana, Bow Finger Pose. So you can, Come to the middle of your mat. You can have a block or a blanket nearby in case you need them for this pose and you'll be able to find out quickly if you do. So you're going to kind of sit on, sit on your legs. Knees are bent. You're sitting back on your heels, uh, knees together. And then you're going to come forward onto your palms, okay? And then you're going to separate your feet and you're going to grab your calves and you're going to roll them out as you bring your bottom down, okay? And then you can adjust the feet, bring them in so that they're hugging your outer hips, and then spread the toes and press all 10 toes down. Take your hands to your thighs and sit tall. Take a few breaths like this. I'll demonstrate it from the side in the meantime. Okay, keep sitting tall, spreading all 10 toes. You're going to, okay, come forward onto your knees, take your feet apart, grab those calves, and bring your bottom down to the floor, okay? Have your heels hugging your hips, spread and press all ten, down, 10 toes down. And you can even use your fingers to actually separate your toes, that always helps me. And press them all down, press that pinky toe down. If it's difficult to come all the way to the floor, you can use a prop. You can place a block under your bottom or a um, folded blanket. Okay. Just for some support. You might not need an entire block. If, if not, then a blanket feels nice. Okay, so your hands on your thighs. Take the shoulders back, elbows back, spread the toes. Lift and lengthen the abdomen. Bring the navel in towards the spine and lift the front of the body as well as the back. Okay, bound finger pose, bottom of the asana. So, you're going to interlock your fingers, okay, thumb tips touch, and then you're going to press your wrist forward in front of you, okay? Lengthen the inner wrist, press your palms forward. Inhale, sit tall, lift the chest. Exhale, keep the elbows straight, take the palms straight up, lengthen the wrist towards the ceiling. Keep the gaze forward. Keep the palms flat. Keep the thumb tips touching. Keep your toes pressing down. Relax the throat. Lift the bottom ribs. One more breath. Inhale, come down. Now before you let go, we're going to change the interlock of the fingers. So whatever pinky is on top, you're going to switch that up so that the opposite pinky is on top. 
and straighten the arms again. Wrist lengthening forward, palms flat. Inhale and lift the chest. Exhale, bring the arms up overhead. Lengthen the wrist toward the ceiling, keep the elbows straight. Spread and press all ten toes down. Lengthen the arms. Lengthen the sides of the chest. Relax the face. Relax the throat as you breathe. Keep the thumb tips touching. And then inhale and as you exhale, you can come down. Okay, bring the palms in. Take your hands to your thighs once more. Sit tall. Take a breath here. Uh, so Virasana helps with several things. That's here, I suppose. It helps with stiffness in the neck, the shoulders, the hips, and groin. Okay? And then to come out of Virasana, we're going to come forward onto your palms. If you are using a prop, simply push it to the side. <laughs> and then you're going to cross the ankles. You're going to come back. And then you're going to extend your feet forward. Okay? And then uh, we'll come stand with our thing for this. We're going to do Urdha Pastasana, upper hands. Okay, so standing in the middle of the mat, come into strong Tadasana, mouth pose. Spread the feet, press into the tripods of the feet, roll the front thighs in, tighten your kneecaps. Inhale, lift the abdomen, take the abdomen in towards the spine, and then lift. Lift the front of the body, bottom ribs, lengthen the spine. Take your arms by your sides, roll the upper arms out. If you don't know what I mean by that, so um, you can exaggerate that action by turning the palms to face the ceiling. And then keep your arms just as they are, going this direction, but turn your palms from the wrist, turn your palms to face your body once more. Inhale, stand tall. Now we are going to turn the palms to face the ceiling. Let the back of the head drop. Inhale, look up. Lengthen the fingertips up towards the sky. Firm the knees, firm the elbows, lengthen through the fingertips. And then you're going to inhale, bring the arms down. Keep them nice and long still. And the hasasana. That's going to stimulate everything. It's going to stimulate the abdomen, the back, your torso, your pelvis. Um, and then our next standing pose, we're going to be doing Uttanasana, forward bend. So you can grab your blocks, if you'd like to use them for this one, um, and have them along the front edge of your mat, about shoulder width apart. Okay. Stand in the center of your mat, um, feet slightly apart, hip apart, a little less, and press into the tripods of the feet, yeah, hip apart, press into the tripods of the feet, come to Tadasana again, we're actually going to come into Urdha Hasasana again, inhale, take the arms up, lengthen the front of the chest, lengthen the abdomen, exhale, bend forward, keep the front thighs rolling in, keep the knees firm as you take your hands to the block. Okay. And you can play around with the different level of the blocks. Um, you know how to do that, I'm sure. And you can use books or anything else that could be used to uh, give you some support and a few extra inches here. The, the idea of the blocks is that it's going to help us maintain that concave back. So quickly from the side, concave back. This is what you don't want to see. That means you need to add more blocks. Okay. You might need several blocks for this pose. You might need to use a chair. Um, use whatever you have to do to achieve that concave position. Okay, so hands on the blocks. Keep the front thighs rolling in. Lift the backs of the thighs up. Roll the upper arms out. And as you do so, you should feel the sides of the chest lengthen. Inhale deeply. Exhale. You can lower the blocks or take your hands to the floor completely. You can walk them back towards the outer ankles. Okay, you're gazing between your knees here. 
Draw the bottom tip, send the shoulder blades up. And while you're here, check your kneecaps. Okay, so every time I come into this position, I realize I need to roll that left thigh in more deeply so that my knee is pointing forward. Nice deep breaths here. Draw the bottom tips of the shoulder blades up. So shoulders move away from the ears. Keep pressing to the feet so the inner ankles lift and the feet stay active. You can even grab your elbows now. Lengthen the spine down, relax the neck. Switch the interlock of the elbows. Okay, and then inhale, take your hands to the floor. Grab your blocks again if you were using them to come back into the first concave position. Okay, and then you can bend the knees, bring your hands to your hips, and come up all the way. Take another breath into Vasana. So Uttanasana, that, that forward bend we just did, that pose um, is good for exhaustion, to relieve exhaustion, um, mental or physical. I'm going to start trying to point out a few things that the poses are, are good for. Um, each pose is good for several things, but I'll just give you little tidbits here and there. Okay, so we're going to do Adha Mukha Savanasana, downward facing dog pose. And then we'll do two more standing poses. Okay, so from the side here, take your palms to the floor. As you do so, my tip with lengthening the inner wrist as you place them is to catch the outer edges of your palms first, lengthen as you place your inner wrist down. Okay? So nice wide hand. Try to get your pinkies and your thumbs to line up together. Roll the upper arms out, look forward, curl the big toes under. Inhale, and then as you exhale, press into the palms, lengthen the arms, keep the upper arms rolling out, bring the crown of the head down, and then take your heels to the floor. Keep rolling the upper arms out, getting that length along the outer arms, outer torso, and pressing the front thighs back. Roll the front thighs in as you press them back. Relax the throat. Okay, then inhale and come down and rest for a moment. Okay, so you rest by lengthening the arms forward, resting the Abdomen over the front of the thighs, toes point back, bring the forehead down. Okay, downward dog, um, it's going to tone your legs and your ankles and, and stimulate the nerves. Okay, we have two more standing poses. So the next one we're going to do is Gomukhasana, arms in a cow face pose. Um, so you're going to use a strap. Mine are still at my studio. I need to get them. Um, they've been there since COVID. You're going to take your strap or your tie or whatever it is that you're using, and you're going to place it over... You're going to place it over your left shoulder. Okay. Stand tall. Roll the front thighs in. Burn the legs. Inhale with the chest. Exhale. Take your right arm out to the side. Rotate the right arm forward. And then you're going to shimmy that right arm up in between your shoulder blades. Okay. You can use your left hand to get there. It's perfectly fine. And then you're going to take your left hand. Turn your palm to face the ceiling. Lengthen the left arm up. Inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale. You're going to bend that elbow and 
you want to grab either your strap, or if you're able to, you can grab your palms, your fingertips, your palms, whatever you can grab. Okay, keep that elbow over top of the shoulder. Inhale, lift the chest. Keep the chin parallel to the floor. Keep the legs active. Keep rolling the front thighs in. Take the abdomen in towards, keep the navel in towards the spine and lift the bottom ribs. Keep that upper left arm rotating in towards your ear. Okay, don't let it pop up to the side. Keep it in towards your head nice and snug. One more breath. And then you can inhale and release the left arm back down. Release the right arm down and just drop. Okay, you can wiggle your fingers. And we'll do the second thing. I apologize, I have to talk with my hand. It's cut off in this position. Okay. From Tadasana, take the left arm out to the side, roll it forward, and then you're going to shimmy that left hand up in between your shoulder blades. Stand tall, turn the right palm so that it's facing the ceiling. Inhale, take it straight up. Inhale again, lift bottom ribs. As you lengthen even more towards the ceiling, and then exhale, bend that right arm down, grabbing either your palms or the strap. Um, keep your right elbow stacked over top of that right shoulder. Expand the chest. Breathe into that expansion. Keep your front thighs rolling in. Keep your legs nice and strong and active here. Still pressing into the tripods of the feet. Take the navel in towards the spine and lift the front of the body as, as well as the back. Okay, one more breath. And then inhale to release. Let the Come down, wiggle the fingers. Okay. All right, and then let's do Brikshasana tree pose, work on our balance a little bit. You can use the wall for support. I'll demonstrate it at the wall. Um, so what we'll do, um, we'll do it with our left side of the body at the wall, and we'll lift the right leg. So you want your arm to be slightly bent away from the wall. You don't want it to be completely straight, just slightly bent. Thus, it is coming in from the wall. Okay, you're going to stand tall. Press into the feet. Press into the tripods of the feet, the big toe bone mound, the left pinky toe metatarsal, and your inner heel. Press into the feet. Lift the chest. And then you're going to take your right foot up high on the inner left thigh. Side chain get it. Press your foot into your thigh and press your thigh back into your foot. And then you might notice naturally people, you know, your right knee will want to pop forward, but you have to resist that. You have to lengthen your inner right thigh and draw the outer right thigh into your hip. Inhale, lift the chest. And then you're going to take the arms up. So you can keep your left hand at the wall as you take your arms straight up. Or you can take your arms straight up. So um, you can slowly work on taking that left hand away from the wall if you need. Keep the gaze forward. Lift the bottom ribs. Relax the throat. Keep pressing your foot and your thigh into one another. One more breath. And then you can inhale and come down. So to lower that right foot, take a breath in, Tadasana. And then we'll do second thing. So I know the tops of my arms are cut off, but I mean, I'm just pointing them straight up. Palms are facing one another. You're rolling the upper arms out in this pose still. Okay, so now you're going to stand the right side of your body at the wall. Again, elbows slightly bent. Bring the legs into the asana. Press into the tripod of the feet. Roll the front thighs in. Stand tall, lift the chest. And then you're going to shift your weight onto the right leg as you take that left foot up high. 
Press your foot and your thigh into one another. Lengthen the inner left thigh towards the knee. Draw the outer thigh into your hip. Okay, again, taking the arms up. You can keep your right hand at the wall as needed. And practice taking your hand away slowly. Roll the upper arms out. Lengthen the fingertips towards the ceiling. Lift the bottom ribs. And breathe into Vrikshasana tree pose. It'll help if you find a fixed point to gaze at. It'll be looking around in the pose. One more breath. And then slowly lower the arms. Slowly lower that left leg. Take a breath in Tadasana. Good. And so obviously that help, that pose is going to help you um, with your balance and it also tones the ankles. Okay, and then we're going to do Utita Trikonasana, extended triangle pose. So you can have two to four blocks along the back edge of your mat. And then you're going to come stand in the center. Take the arms up, bend the elbows, fingertips together, bend the knees, and then jump or step your feet wide apart. So make the outer edges of your feet parallel to one another by taking the heels out a little bit. Okay. Take a breath. Inhale, lift the chest. Turn the right foot all the way out. Left toes slightly in. Roll the right thigh out. Roll the left thigh out. Keep the hips even. Lift the chest, taking the shoulders and elbows back, and then extend the arms. Inhale again. Lift the chest, and then exhale. Keep that right thigh rolling deeply out. Pull it up into that outer hip bone as you take your right hand to the block. Stack your wrist. Still press into the tripod of the right foot. Press especially into that big toe bone mound. Keep the left thigh rolling out. Right thigh rolling out. Stack your wrist. Lift the chin a little. Squeeze your outer hips together and then take your hips away from the bottom ribs together. And breathe. You can continue to look forward or you can gaze up at the palm. Take a few slow deep breaths. strong with that right leg. Turn the feet to face forward. Take a breath here. And then we'll do second side. Left foot all the way out. Right toes slightly in. Lift the chest, shoulders, elbows back. Extend the arms. Keep the legs firm. Keep the knees tight. Inhale again. And then as you exhale, reach. Lengthen the left side of the chest as you take your left hand to the block. Okay, stack the wrist once more. Keep the chest ro rotating to face forward. Okay. So left ribs roll forward, right ribs roll back. Keep that right thigh rolling out, left thigh rolling deeply out. Pull the outer thigh up into your hip. Squeeze your outer hips together and then take the hips away from the bottom ribs. Breathe, and then you can continue to look forward, or you can gaze up at the palm. Focus on the breath, soften the throat. Okay, and then inhale to come up, right hand to the hip, bend that left knee, come up strong with the left leg. Turn the feet to face forward, step the feet together, and take a breath in Tadasana. Okay, the next pose we're going to do is boat pose, Paripurna Navasana. And you're going to come sit for this pose. Uh, sit on your mat. And so from Dandasana, staff pose, take a minute here to breathe. Legs straight, arms by your sides. Press the inner thighs down, lengthen through the heels, spread the toes. Okay, 
And then you're going to bend the knees, make your feet flat. You're going to take your hands, you're going to cup them under your thighs, behind the knees there. And then lift the chest, lift the front of the chest, take the shoulders back. And breathe. Okay, and then you're going to lean back, just enough that the feet lift up. Keep that back straight. And then inhale, swing the feet up. Keep the legs straight, spread the toes. Roll the front thighs in. One more breath. Inhale, come down. And take a moment for it to relax. Um, so as you can figure, this helps improve both blood circulation to the abdomen. Um, well, of course, we're going, here, going on in this pose. We're going to do it again. Some key points to remember. Um, obviously, don't let the back round. Keep it nice and long and straight. And then this time, we're going to try to take the arms by the sides. Okay, we won't stay too long. Okay, as you're ready, bend the knees. Take your hands behind the thighs, behind the knees. Lift the side ribs. Take your shoulders back. Okay, lean back just enough so the feet lift. Keep the back straight. Inhale, lift the legs. Keep the legs straight, spread the toes. Okay, and then as you're ready, take your arms by your sides. One more breath. And then inhale and come out. <laughs> um, yeah. A harder pose. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Next we'll do Janya Sharasana. Head to knee pose. Um, I think I will demonstrate this one from the side. Okay, so from Dandasana, sack pose. You're going to bring your left foot in. Heel against your inner thigh, just like we did in tree pose. Okay. Uh, you can have a strap nearby if you'd like for this pose, okay? Um, so your left foot's on your inner right thigh. Right leg is extending. Remember to extend through your heel. Spread the toes. Go ahead and take a strap. We'll start with the strap, and if you don't need it, you can release it. And you're going to take it underneath the toe ball mount, and then you're going to gently pull onto the strap in such a way that it helps you take the middle of your shoulder blades in and up, and the front of the chest responds by lifting. Okay, keep your inner right thigh pressing down, spread the right toes, inhale, and then as you exhale, begin walking your hands forward and coming forward over the extended leg. If you can take your hands to your foot, that's fine. But try to maintain a concave back at first. Like this spine. Keep the middle of the shoulder blades in and up to lift the front of the chest. You can gaze at the toes. All right, one more breath. And then this time we're going to lengthen the spine, bring the forehead down, and take your head to your knees. Keep pressing your inner right thigh down. Keep the right toes spreading. This is one of my favorite poses. Nice, smooth, deep breaths. Okay, and then you can inhale, come back up. First stop at the concave position and take a breath. And then you can come all the way back with your hands by your sides. And then move that strap. Now take the left foot forward, then the right foot in. So I'll demonstrate from the side. Okay. 
maintain the second side. Extend the left leg forward, press the inner left thigh down. Use the strap to help lift the chest. Take your shoulders back. Inhale, and then as you exhale, begin walking your hands forward. You can continue to use the strap, or you can take your hands to your leg. Try to maintain that concave position at first. Engage out the chest. Keep that left inner thigh pressing down, left toe spreading. Inhale once more, and then as you exhale, lengthen the spine. Bring the head to the knee. And relax here in Johnny Sharasana. Uh, one of the things this pose is known for is um, improving Okay, le okay, left side. So you're going to extend the left leg forward. Right foot is touching the inner left thigh. Keep that inner left thigh pressing down and then use the strap to lift the chest. Take the shoulders back. Inhale, keep the spine long and then exhale and begin walking your hands forward using the strap or you can take your hand hands to your leg. Stare at the toes or slightly in front of your toes. Keep that left leg pressing down, left toes spreading. Inhale once more. And then as you exhale, take your head to your knee. Each time you exhale, try to come deeper into the pose, soften more into the pose. Inhale, come back up. And then inhale, come all the way back up with your hands by your sides. Bring that right foot forward or along the left. Take another breath in, Dandasana. Press the inner thighs down, spread the toes. Take the arms up and we'll do forward bend here. Paschimottanasana. Gently reach for the feet. Lengthen forward. Just gentle stretching here. Keep the shoulders down in the back. Breathe. Okay, one more pose. We're going to we're going to do a twist, Bardhasana. Uh, so have one or two folded blankets. I'll demonstrate this time with the short edge of my mat facing you. Okay, so have one or two folded blankets along the back right edge of your mat, and then you're going to sit up at the edge of that blanket. Shift your weight so that it might be right back to on the blanket, and then you're going to swing your feet to the side. You want to do it in such a way that your left ankle is resting on the arch of your right foot. Okay, just like so. So your left toes point straight back, right toes are pointing off to the side. Okay, inhale, sit tall. You can also have a block on your foot right behind your back if you want. I think I'll use this one. Directly behind your back on that blanket. Take your hands to your thighs. Inhale, sit tall, and we're going to begin turning the upper body. So you're going to take your right hand behind the back. You're going to take your left hand to your outer right knee. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, and turn. Inhale, lift. Exhale, turn. Okay, so you can try it both ways and see what you like more. You can grab your knee with your palm, or you can turn your palm facing out. And, ca and catch it against that knee. Inhale, lift, exhale, and turn. Twist up through the crown of the head. Try to breathe smoothly in this position. You 
can use that left arm, press it against the right knee to twist further. Okay, and then inhale as you unwind. Inhale and lift the chest as you unwind. Take your hands to your thighs once more. Take your right hand to the floor, lean to the side, swing the legs forward as you shift your weight forward. And then you can move your blanket and your block to the other side of the mat. Okay, so sit up on the edge of the blanket, shift your weight only, shift your weight to the side so that only your left buttocks sits on the blanket, and then swing your feet back. Okay, so this time your right ankle is resting in the arch of the left foot. That block is right behind my back on the blanket, and I'm going to take my left hand to it. Inhale and sit tall with your hands on your thighs. And then you're going to begin turning. Take your left hand to that block. Take your right hand to your outer left knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, turn. Inhale, lift. Exhale, turn. Keep the left side ribs on. Twist all the way through the crown of the head. Breathe. Use that left arm, sorry, use that right arm pressed against the left knee to twist even further. One more breath. Okay, then inhale and lift as you want to line. Take your hands to your thighs, take your left hand to the floor, swing your feet forward, shift your weight forward, and then you can sit up in the cross legged position. These okay, so twists are good for your inner organs. They help bring fresh blood to those areas. To conclude, we will do corpse pose. So you can have two blankets nearby. First, you're going to try to make a trifold with one of your blankets. So you're going to, from a rectangle, you'll go one, two, three. This is for your back. And then you'll take another blanket, use it for a pillow. And you want it to just cross a little bit of your tricolor blanket, okay? And then you're going to sit a palms width in front of that tricolor blanket, and then you're going to carefully lie back, letting your head rest on your pillow, and then extend the feet. Let the feet roll out to the side, let your arms rest by your sides. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, let go completely. Try to breathe in and out through your nose. Release all tension from the face. and legs be heavy. And let the body sink into the floor beneath you. Let the eyes rest deep. And relax your tongue at the back of the throat.
Okay, I'm going to come out of the pose. You're going to take your hands to your abdomen. Bend the knees. Then you're going to take the right arm over here, overhead so that it brushes that right ear. And then you're going to roll onto the right side, resting here for a moment. And then you press into your left palm to come back up all the way to the cross legged position. Palms together, deep breath. Namaste. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, you can leave them below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I hope to have another one out soon. Thanks.